lakini yeye kama rais aliidhinisha pili umaskini ulikuwa umewazonga watu wengi sana na marehemu Mwai Kibaki akaweza akapitisha pesa za wazee mitaani wazee wakawa na wao wanaweza wakawa wanajinaki kwamba kuna vitu wanavipata pia vile vile kuna pesa za mayatima aliweza pia Mwai Kibaki alituachia ambao ni mpaka sasa inaendelea na mambo mengine ametufanyia mambo mengi sana e, rais wetu mstafu marehemu Mwai Kibaki wengi wanamsifia pia katika utekelezaji wa uchumi katika uongozi wake kauli yako ni epe katika uchumi Mwai Kibaki ni number one, number one, number one. kwani akiingia katika serikali uchumi wetu ulikuwa umefifia sana na pia kitu ambacho nimempendea rais wetu ane marehemu Mwai Kibaki alikuwa akikosea akikosolewa ni e, Raila Amolo Odinga pale pale ushikanjia akanyoka kwa hivyo kiuchumi alituacha katika afya nzuri na hatujui kama tutarudi katika hali yetu ya kawaida na pia kuna masuala ya kihistoria ambayo pia inaweza kushuhudiwa chini ya uongozi wake Mwai Kibaki e, wengi wanataja serikali ya nusu mkate kwa kwamba baada ya tatizo uh, lililoshughuliwa katika uchaguzi wa mkuu mwaka 2007-2008 na hapo ndipo Kibaki akaweza kuitikia uh, kuingia serikali ni pamoja naye kinara wa ODM Raila Odinga je pengine hatu wa hiyo kama rais kuweza kukubalia kufanya jambo kama hilo kama mkenya ina maana gani E, kwa majina naitwa Juma Saburi katika bunge la Libat hapa Majengo. Mimi kwa kumwenzi mheshimiwa Rais mheshimiwa Kibaki ni kwamba kuna mambo ambayo kidogo naweza kumkumbuka nayo. Katika swala kwanza la kiuchumi, katika tawala zake zote mbili, ye alizingatia sana mambo ya kuenua uchumi. Kwa, kwa upande wa kwamba kuna hii mikopo microfinance wakati wake ndio alizianzisha nyingi mpaka mtu wa chini kabisa aliweza kupata mikopo ambapo kabla yeye katika tawala zilizopita mikopo ilikuwa inapewa wale watu ambao ni viongozi ndani ya serikali mwananchi alikuwa hawezi pata mikopo lakini kwa wakati wake wa uongozi ye alifungua aliruhusu microfinance nyingi sana ambao zilipeana mikopo kwa wananchi mpaka wa chini walio na kazi serikalini mpaka wasiokuwa na kazi serikalini na ikawawezesha wakazi wengi wakatumia hiyo mikopo kujenua kiuchumi kufanya, kufanya biashara tofauti tofauti kusomesha watoto wao na pia jambo lingine ambalo tunamkumbuka nalo ni swala la elimu alileta elimu ya bure ya primary ambao wa Kenya wengi walikuwa kufikia hapo walikuwa wamekwama kwa hayo ndio mambo ambayo kidogo naweza kumkumbuka lengine ni kwamba yeye ndio rais ambayo katika sehemu hii yetu ya pwani tulijivunia kwa sababu ndio wakati ambao tulipa, tuliweza kupata hizi university campus lakini katika tawala zingine ilikuwa wakazi wa hapa pwani ilikuwa tunasoma mpaka form 4 wengi tunashindwa kwenda university kwa sababu university zilikuwa ziko nje ya pwani Nairobi na sehemu nyingine ambapo wengi ilikuwa ni gharama kwao kuna hilo swala ambalo limekuuliza wachukulia vipi hatua yake ya kukubali kugawana serikali yeye alitu, alikuwa ni kiongozi mwenye hekima kwa sababu kule kugawanya serikali alikuwa ni kiongozi ambaye anataka amani katika nchi. Kwa hivyo mimi nampongeza nampo, sana kule kushirikiana na kiongozi mwenzake na hakubaki pale kukwama kwamba yeye amedinda ndio amepita alikubali kushirikiana na mwenzake na serikali ikawa nusu mkali. Asante kabisa mwisho kabisa dakika chache. Hebu tueleze wa mwenzi vipi mwe, eh, marehemu Mwai Kibaki. Uh, mimi naitwa kwanza kwa jina naitwa Jeremiah Jeremy. Na mimi mfanyikazi wa hapa majengo. Vile na kumbuka mheshimiwa rais wetu Mwai Kibaki, mimi kwanza nilimjua 1973 kumuelewa vizuri kabisa. Akiwa Minister for Finance. Na nafikiria uchumi wakati huo ulikuwa unaendelea vizuri sana. Manake akiondolewa pale ilikuwa unga ilikuwa inatoka shilingi tatu na peni moja na dururu. Na wakati yeye amekuwa vice president na kutoka vice president mpaka waziri wa kwa kifupi tafadhali. Yeah. 
kufupisha tafadhali. Ah, yeah. Sasa mimi nasema hivi. Rais Kibaki mwenyewe ile mambo ambapo amefanya ni mengi zaidi na ile ambayo imeonekana ni nyingi zaidi uchumi amefufua CDF akafufua alafu akarete mambo ya Mpesa di amerete Equity akarete structure hii ya barabara zote ambazo tunaziona zinaendea mpaka saa hii Uh, ile SGR pia asante asante well of course Olive, there's a lot of people who really want to share or rather give their contributions mm -hmm. following the passing on of the former uh, president Mwai Kibaki but of course we'll still be on standby we'll be gathering more views not only from uh, this particular area but we'll be going round across the county of Mombasa gathering sentiments from uh, Kenyans from this uh, part of the country uh, concerning the passing on of Mzee Mwai Kibaki and we'll be back with more details from uh, this uh, part of the coastal region back to you Olive. All right, thank you uh, Kevin. Mkazi moja wa Mombasa akisema kwenye uchumi kibaki alikuwa number 1, number 1, number 1. We are back with uh, Lois Wangoi. Lois, um, some of uh, the Mombasa residents lauded uh, initiatives such as the CDF that uh, President Kibaki initiated back in 2003. What do those in Eldoret have to celebrate about his legacy? Good morning, Olive, and my apologies for that earlier technical uh, hitch. I was noting uh, that in Nairobi County, as residents there engage in the activity of the day two viewing of uh, the body of uh, uh, the former uh, President uh, Mwai Kibaki, who, is since, uh, who has since passed on here in Eldoret, residents will be following through that through NTV on our live wall-to-wall uh, -wall coverage. Here in the North Rift, and in particular in Eldoret uh, town, I want us to speak to some of the residents uh, to understand uh, what their experience of uh, the departed former President Mwai Kibaki uh, is and how they will be remembering him. Tuwanze na kwa majina yako tafadhali, alafu tuambie utamkumbuka VP, former President uh, Mwai Kibaki ambaye kwa sasa ametuacha kama taifa. Kwa majina naitwa Isaac na mimi ni mkaji wa Eldoret. Hakika kwa, ubina, kwa upande yangu ninamkumbuka Kibaki kama kiongozi ambaye alijitolea akaienua taifa yetu taifa letu na pia akapatia Kenya sifa. Na ni kiongozi ambaye alijitolea kufanya kazi akihakikisha kwamba wa Kenya wote wanaishi kwa maisha ambayo ambayo wanastahili. Hakika Kibaki atakumbukwa na watu wengi. Kibaki ameleta manufaa mengi sana na kuenua hadhi ya inji. Mimi kwa upande yangu ningependa ya kwamba e, tuendelee kupata viongozi kama Kibaki. Waendelee kuongoza inji. Inji Kenya ni inji ambayo imebarikiwa. Ni inji ambayo Mungu ameipenda na viongozi wajitolee kweli kuongoza Kenya wajifunze kutoka kwa Kibaki. Naam. Umesema viongozi wajifunze kutoka kwa Kibaki ni maneno ambayo wa Kenya wengi tu wamekuwa wakizungumzia. Ni maswala yapi ambayo unaweza kusema kwa mfano hapa Kibaki alikuwa anafanya hivi na viongozi wa sasa uh, pengine mnaweza kuiga mfano huo. Kibaki alikuwa anajali wa Kenya. Wakati uongozi wa Kibaki hatukukuwa na mashida mingi. Naam. Uchumi ilikuwa sawa. Asasi hizi watu wa boda ameleta pikipiki informal sector inafanya kazi. Mambo mengi sana aleta. Uchumi yetu ikapaa ikaenda juu. Lakini sasa hivi unapoangalia ni kama uchumi yetu inadidimia. Wa Kenya wanahangaika, wana chakula, hawajui watakula nini. Unajua unapokuwa kiongozi lazima ujali wa Kenya. Ongoza wa Kenya ukijua kwamba wanapata matibabu nzuri, wana chakula wanasoma vijana wanapata kazi wewe ndio kiongozi sio tu kiongozi jina angalia ni namna gani unasaidia wa Kenya unasaidia wananchi hivyo ndio viongozi tunataka asante pengine tupate maoni ya mwingine songa tukaribu na mimi majina yako utamkumbuka mzee uh, Kibaki vipi kwa majina naitwa Charles Wanyonyi ni mkaaji wa Eldoret town uh, kiongozi ambaye ametuacha rais Mwai Kibaki aliletea wananchi wa Kenya sifa tele kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anatafuta hii uongozi ili akue msasi bora wa nchi ya Kenya na yeye ametusaidia vijana haswa vijana kwa mapikipiki uchanja iliisha Kenya na yeye hakuwa anataka upumbafu Kenya yeye alikuwa anatakia amani kila mkenya wakati ambaye alikuwa anapita mahali popote 
alikuwa anaambia watu kama wamesanyana wanataka pesa kwake anawaambia wacha upumbafu enda mfanye kasi mpate pesa kwa sababu tunamshapikia yeye ni kiongozi ambaye ni pora kiongozi yeyote anayekuja kuanzia mwezi wa tisa kwenda mbele aike mfano wa mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki Asante. Asante na pengine nipate maoni ya mwingine. Ningependa kuuliza ukiangalia viongozi ambao tuko nao sasa hivi na uongozi ambao uh, Mwai Kibaki aliweza kudhihirisha nchini. Uh, je, kuna kibarua bado kwa Wakenya na viongozi kujisatiti kuiga mfano alioweka uh, Rais Mwai Kibaki? Utaangalia pale nenda kushikia tu. Yeah. Of course my name is Ramfri Mronga. Resident of Eldred. Uh, first and foremost I'll send my condolences and attribute the last the, the, the former president Mwaiki back and the and the family and the entire family. I say you are crying together, you are mourning together as Kenyans. Uh to buy in Tasema uh to Kanao Saizi Nita Fout Sana Kulingana Willa Ambao Kibaki Alikua now. Kibaki was very intelligent and brilliant. He never depends on any idea from anybody. Alikuwa nafanya mambo yake kama yeye. That's what akafikiria kuinua uchumi wa Kenya kupitia kuinua vijana kuleta pikipiki. Na ndipo sasa unaona vijana wengi Kenya ambao walikuwa walifu sasa hivi awafanye hiyo kazi akili zao sio kwa bodaboda njiani manake walipewa kazi. So tungependa wale ambao tena wanajipanga kuwa viongozi wa kopi ule mfano wasikuwe wa, wa viongozi wa kuja na tamaa ya kukuja eh, kuharibu uchumi manake kibaki hata ukiangalia vizuri kutoka nyuma uchumi ilikuwa mbaya sana alipata uchumi ikiwa mbaya sana wakati alikuja kuongozi lakini alikuja kujaribu sana kuileta mpaka akawa ameifikisha mali ambapo ilikuwa at least ilikuwa inasaidia wakenya wakenya wako nasumbuka sana maisha ya kenya ili, ya wakenya ilikuwa sawa zaidi hii sasa hivi mimi nawaomba tu wala ambao wanakuja wasikuja na tamaa ya roho zao ili kukula mali za wakenya wakuja na tamaa ya kusaidia na kuinua uchumi wa Kenya ili urudi ya mahali ambao ambapo Moi aliwacha. Asante. Asante. Uh, Olive, I picked this particular target group uh, there border border operators granted uh, that in his economic uh, growth uh, uh, former president and now the late Mwai Kibaki really impacted the informal sector and this is one of the target groups uh, which really benefited uh, from the leadership uh, of the departed former president Mwai Kibaki. Another target group from here in the North Rift that benefited uh, when Mwai Kibaki was president is uh, the group of farmers and these are people that I will be talking to uh, later Olive and I will bring them to you to, to just have a feel of how President uh, the former uh, now departed President Mikey Baki impacted uh, matters farming here. Earlier when I was uh, at the office I spoke to my colleague Dennis Biwot uh, he's a resident and he's also a business executive at NMG Olive and he was telling me during Kibaki's leadership that is between the years of 2003 and 2013 uh, farmers from the North Rift would receive the highest price of uh, their maize commodity here at uh, 3,000 Kenyan shillings per 90 kilogram bag and during Moy's era it was around 1,500 Kenyan shillings. So farmers here are uh, really celebrating uh, the, the economic leadership that the former now departed President Mwai Kibaki impacted. Uh, uh, I would also love to note to you Olive that also the cost of farm inputs uh, during the era of uh, Mwai Kibaki was quite affordable to the residents here and it's something that they will live to remember and celebrate him for. A 50 kilogram bag of fertilizer would retail at 1,200 Kenyan shillings and we have seen that over the years increase to amounts of over 6,000 Kenyan shillings. Many here speaking to celebrate the laughing times of the former departed commander-in-chief. For now back to you in Nairobi, Olive. All right, thank you very much, Lois. I had uh, one of those you've interviewed say, uh, President Kibaki, he was not one to tolerate foolishness. Um, we now head on to Odhaya, uh, the rural home of the late retired President Mwai Kibaki. Melita, perhaps you can tell us uh, what the preparations look like. Are they underway ahead of Saturday's burial? And um, are there people who've turned up to sign the condolence book at the Odhaya CDF office? 
Well, Olive, we continue pitching tent here at the late President Mwai Kibaki's home in Odaya. And yes, indeed, uh, people have been able to sign the condolence book at the Odaya CDF office. We've seen that uh, starting yesterday and is expected to continue today. But most importantly, Olive, is that uh, preparations are still ongoing here at Kibaki's Odaya home. You can see workers there are trying to clean the drainage. And of course, uh, security has been bolstered here. The military uh, uh, is usually, uh, you know, stationed here. Uh, but now we can see that even uh, people as they go in they have to go through the security checks earlier uh, we saw the workers inside the compound actually trying to get rid of a beehive which was causing a nuisance here uh, but they've been uh, they've successfully done that and uh, at the moment we we have just seen government official uh, vehicles entering the compound we understand that there are meetings that have been going uh, in going on uh, inside Akibaki's home of course uh, uh, being led by the military as well as the county security team led by uh, Nyeri County Commissioner Mohamed uh, Barre here uh, in Nyeri County. But Olive, I'd like to speak to uh, a resident of Odaya here just to tell us how he remembers the late, pre the late President Mwai Kibaki. Pengine mzee Jora, eza kukaribia hapa tu anza na kujitambulisha kisha utueleze wewe binafsi. Kumbu kumbu yako ya Kibaki ni kama ipu. Mimi naitua Joram. Joram waodhi kahiga. Mimi nimeona kazi ya mzee Kibaki Kibaki tumempenda sana hata amepewa mpaka na watoto katika inji ya udhaya kwa kazi nzuri aliyefanya Amefanya mengi katika udhaya barabara tulikuwa tunaenda kwa mchanga sasa tunaenda na juu ya rami na hiyo ni kazi ya Kibaki tu Kibaki tunampenda sana maana kwa kazi yake nzuri ambaye amefanya katika udhaya Na uliko unaniambia kuwa unashangaa sana ukitembea kwa eneo bunge zingine unashangaa maendeleo iko waje ikilinganishwa na hapa Odaya. Nikipita katika sehemu zingine katika nchi yetu ya Kenya naona kweli hakuna maendeleo hata kidogo watu wanatembea kwenye matope lakini hapa kwetu Odaya tunaona ni kazi ni mzuri sana tunatembea kwenye rami. Hata watu wenye huku mainje hao wakija hapa wanashangaa. Wanasema kweli kibaki kazi yake ni mzuri wakitoka rivuti vari wakitoka popote wanaona kweli udhaya ni lipari mzuri ambaye kulikuwa na MP ambaye amependa watu kwa kazi yake nzuri sana kwa hivi huu mzee kweli ametuwasha sasa tukitupa tu rambi zambi zetu kwa, kwa, kwa watoto wake na jambio na kwa, na, na kwa jumla watu wote wa udhaya kwa maana tumewashwa na kweli Mungu amweke pari pema peponi Na tukikutana na wewe ulikuwa unaimba wimbo kuhusu Kibaki pengine unaweza kutuchezea tu tukimalizia mahojiano 